Hello folks, you're catching me here working on the Red Arrows battery, but you know what's after happening? The sun's come out. So let's go a little bit of a walk around on the fleet here, particularly the Plastic Panzer. So since we last spoke, there have indeed been some developments here in Plastic Panzer world. Let's go have a look. So first, the bad news. Bad news? Bad news. We're still on the Gomi wheels. Now, it's time for some good news. Thanks to one of you crazy patrons, I have been gifted these four uh, very clean, very nice um, alloys to go on to Plastic Panzer. Uh, not familiar with this brand, um, but we will get some tires on these guys uh, soon and might even be able to get some BMW badges to go in the middle. And then these will be going on here and we're going to try and sell these things. Hmm, I know. Now when we last spoke about this rather insane idea that I've had to do an absolutely free electric vehicle conversion. Uh, you might re recall I had a bit of a look around on the old um, braking repairables section on Dundee at a couple of EVs there that I thought we might be able to use as potential donors or at least kind of pretend that we were going to do that and use the prices there while we go ahead and um, use the Volkswagen e-golf uh, drivetrain in the plastic panzer well you guessed it that plan's changed and it's not my fault this time really it's your guys fault the land yacht has a new friend <sighs> say hello to the world's first three-wheeled nissan leaf there's one Two, three. Now I know what you're thinking. Thinking there's going to be a fourth one here. But don't worry, there isn't. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. So there I was, folks. I think it was either the day I released the first Plastic Panzer video or the day after. Getting ready to go to bed. I'm going to check email. <sighs> a viewer very kindly contacted me and said, How would you like a free 2015 Nissan Leaf? Only catch is there's no battery in it. What am I going to do? Say no? That'd be just rude. So, turned out it was only about 25 mi miles away. So I got a local towing guy to pick it up, drop it here, and now we have a new parts car for the Plastic Panzer project. But Damien, I hear you all say, you said you weren't going to use a Nissan Leaf drivetrain in the Plastic Panzer. And that is indeed correct, I did. Because at the time, only a week ago, we only had one parts Nissan Leaf, which is a 2011 model year, which has the EM61 motor and inverter in it that we've already used in the Grey Goose E46 Touring. But there's no point having two cars with the same drivetrain. Don't forget that part of the reason that I've got so many cars here is because I need test beds for the various drivetrain configs that we put in the Zombieverter VCU. So, what makes 
a 2015 different. Well, what makes this particular 2015 different is that it's been partially stripped out. So that's super helpful. But in all seriousness, um, this particular vehicle is equipped with the EM57 motor, the 80 kilowatt matching inverter, and a 3.3 kilowatt PDM, which gives us a charger and a DC-DC converter. Now, you may recall, some of you will recall, that we are intending using a similar drivetrain to this in our Mitsubishi L200 pickup truck project. And you would be mostly correct. We do have the very same EM57 motor, but this is the 110 kilowatt inver inverter, and this is the more modern 2021 PDM with the 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger. So, why is this interesting for us? Ooh, M mats plus 10 horsepower. Black kidney grills plus another 5 horsepower each. So, the magnificent N43B20A engine in its heyday, according to the information that I can find, churns out a whopping 125 kilowatts or 168 brake horsepower. Ooh, extra badge plus 10 horsepower. So if we swap this thing in, we're not gonna be dropping power. Answer, yes. However, fans of the old Dala channel will know that it's entirely feasible to swap the 80 kilowatt inverter, so this middle piece here, for either the 110 kilowatt that you saw up in the workshop, or if you can find one, the 160 kilowatt. They all fit in the same place and they all use the same mo motor, the EM57, and will mate up with the PDM. This gives us a rather nice kind of all-in-one engine swap potential here for our plastic Panzer. Also, this happens to be a manual. And if we retain the manual gearbox in here, even though we would be dropping power, we would most certainly not be lacking performance, even with the existing 80 kilowatt setup. So what's the plan then? Well, the first thing we're gonna do from a budgetary point of view is we're gonna pretend that we purchased that, and it happened to be a 2015 model year leaf as well. I believe the price on that um, was 1,900 euros. Uh, so we're going to pretend that we purchased that. Now, the one thing that we don't have as yet is a battery. And in one way, a Leaf battery uh, wouldn't be the ideal choice for this particular vehicle. I'm hoping that I might be able to dig us up um, a nice Gen 2 BMW pack, uh, like the two that I have in the Panzer or another kind of a mid-range hybrid, or a, sorry, not a hybrid, a plug-in hybrid battery pack. So I'll be looking for that while you folks are enjoying the latest episode. So, what's the plan then? Well, we are going to take that stack, as they call it, including the EM57 motor, um, 80 kilowatt inverter and 3.3 kilowatt PDM. And we're going to transplant them into the plastic panzer and bolt them onto the old uh, manual gearbox here. Now, I'm thinking, would it be possible to do an American engine pull on this vehicle? And by that, what I mean is, I probably watch way too much Junkyard Digs and Dylan McCool and 
channels like, like that where they're basically nearly always working with big iron block V8s and automatics and they very rarely take the gearbox out along with the engine which is I nearly always do that um, but they take the engines out from the engine bay and leave the gearbox in there I'm not sure <laughs> how practical that would be with the plastic Panzer as opposed to a 1970s or a 1980s American uh, boat but we will I think at least give it a, a try and we might fail terribly um, but it'll be an interesting experience nonetheless so <sighs> That's the plan, folks. Uh, we got ourselves a donor car. So the other thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start selling bits from that car now, the 2015 Leaf, that we don't need. I am keeping the heated seats and the heated steering wheel from my wife's uh, 2011 Leaf. Uh, but pretty much everything else is going to be going for sale. Uh, we're going to save the drivetrain. Um... And that's it the whole rest of the car i'm gonna sell once i get that stripped down i'm gonna sell the chassis to scrap metal merchant and we'll grab on to um every penny that we can um in this particular pro project do i think i'm gonna win probably not but it's an interesting uh it, it's it's an interesting endeavor and it keeps the mind occupied and keeps the mind working so i want to say thank you to everyone uh that commented and encouraged me on the last episode of this because it kind of was um kind of was getting um to be a bit crazy i was thinking what am i doing here you know i'm already working on the red arrow i've got the moscovo to do i've got the truck um yeah i have a lot of projects on but then again, maybe that's kind of the way it needs to be for me. So, thank you, folks, honestly. Um, I don't know about you, but these comfort seats are beginning to... Yeah, they're beginning to grow on me a little bit. And this car smells really nicely, whereas the original white leaf does not smell nice at all. Anyway, enough about car smells. We will catch you in the next episode. As always, crying out loud, folks, don't share this nonsense with your friends and family and co-workers and all that because it ain't going to end well. Give it a, a thumbs down so that other innocent parties don't have to partake of my particular brand of madness. <sighs> I could use the lumbar support, though. Yeah, I like the lumbar support on the panzer seats mm. anyway enough about lumbar support we'll see you next time uh, i'm going to be battery hunting so who knows uh, what we're going to find but it's going to be fun so thanks again folks catch you next time and until then Happy comfort seat adjusting. Adjuster down here. Oh, hang on. <laughs>